Today, I'd like to talk about uh, 3 8 drive ratchets. And this is just going to be kind of a comparison of what I have here at my shop and what I use. I'm sure a lot of people have their favorites, different brand styles, tooth counts, and anything else you can think of. Uh, again being mainly I work on motorcycles I just I'm not dealing with a lot of rusted up stuff and 3 8 is probably my most used drive that and quarter inch and I rarely use half inch drive I am, when I am using half inch drive that's just to break wheel axles loose counter shaft sprockets maybe a swing arm pivot here and there but 3 8 drive is definitely what I use the most. We'll start down here on the left. This is an old Craftsman Professional made in the USA 44833 I think this ratchet it's it's somewhere around 11 inches long and I know these are no longer made in the USA and this doesn't seem to matter anyway this is a 36 tooth count ratchet and see if you can hear the that sound very smooth to you it, it, It sure doesn't to me, and I would not consider this a high quality ratchet. But it's it's probably I'm gonna guess somewhere around 18 years old. You can see it's it's really it's not really beat up or when I do disassemble it, you just need a pair of snap ring pliers to take these apart. And it has been lubed, but just in my eyes this is not a high quality ratchet this one here I'm sure everyone owns or has owned one of these in the past these are the standard craftsmen again 36 tooth count on this and these are the this is a USA model as well and these are the ones that come in a lot of the cheaper kits and stuff whether the internals are the same as the highly polished ones I don't know but it is also 36 teeth and and see that one that one definitely sounds better than the highly polished professional model and I was never a fan of these this handle shape and stuff and just has not been a one of my favorite ratchets over the years what I do use this one for though is I keep one of those oil filter cups on it for uh, taking the oil filters off my car so it does see some use this is the craftsman 44 834 I think this, this is like five and a half inches and what I, I do use this one too for uh, changing spark plugs it's a flex head it does have a uh, positive stops in it or detents so it'll hold the position again 36 teeth and this one actually sounds pretty good, the ratcheting mechanism. Pretty quiet and smooth compared to the first one. I said this is a good ratchet for changing spark plugs and anything with aluminum heads. That way you don't put a lot of torque on them. This is the Bent Handle Craftsman. Again, another USA model, 44835. 
Again, 36 teeth. And I can't think of one specific job I've used this for, but it is handy with a locking flex. I shouldn't say locking, but it has stops in it, detents, to hold it in position. And this one sounds pretty smooth inside too. Next, this one's probably the oldest that I have. This is a master mechanic from... I worked at a True Value Hardware store when I was in high school. This is mid-1980s. And this, it's not stamped USA, but I bought this also with a quarter inch and half inch drive sets, and they are stamped USA. And... I don't know who the actual manufacturer was. It some say Stanley or Esco, and it's I don't know the tooth count. It's a fairly fine tooth count, and for as old as this is, it's still nice and smooth. This ratchet has seen a lot of action over the years. Next. This is the Har Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro Flex. Now this one, there's no detents in it. You can move it in, in any position. Mine on here is tight. You'll see, if you see some reviews of some of these, they say the head flops around. Mine's still tight. Hasn't seen a ton of action yet though. And for the cost, these ratchets, I feel I just find them hard to beat. Now if you're working on automotive rusted up type stuff, then maybe you'll have an issue with it. But 70 tooth count head and very smooth action in my eyes. Next, this is another Harbor Freight. This is the composite. And I like this for cold weather applications. This handle here, it, you know, it doesn't, doesn't turn into an ice cube like a metal handle ratchet does. And they really do make a difference in cold weather. Again, this is 72 teeth in the head. And this Pittsburgh Pro stuff, it does have a lifetime warranty. If you do happen to break one of these, you just carry it back in the store and they'll happily, happily hand you a new one off the shelf. Next, this is a right tool flex head with a Tootsie Roll grip. This also has detents to hold the flex position. And this is a 41 tooth count head. I know 41 seems like an oddball number, but that's, that's what they are. These are made in Barberton, Ohio, USA. Right tool, I would say nowadays they mostly cater to the industrial crowd and uh, like the oil fracking companies. They're not really known as a, like automotive type, but these are really great tools in my eyes. This is another great tool. Again, Flex with detents. 41 teeth on the head again. Again, very smooth action. Very low back drag. Now, 
And this is another right tool. I'm getting fully polished handle on this model. I will say, I, me personally, I don't have a handle preference, at least in the warmer temperatures. Anyway, in the winter, I do prefer the composite or rubber handles. But, again, 41 teeth in the head. Very nice action. This one's very similar to the previous one, just a shorter length, but again, fully polished all the way through. Right tool, made in Barberton, Ohio, USA. Right tool is probably my favorite tool company as well. Here's another right tool model. Again, 41 teeth on the head. Decent size handle there. Get your hand around. Again, 41 teeth. Nice smooth action. This is kind of a unique right tool. You can see has an, an open head on it. It's a right tool model 3480. Again, only 30 tooth, but there is there's very light back drag on this ratchet. Give you a shot of the ratcheting mechanism there. And I have to grab one out of the box that I almost forgot. This is the right tool. I'm trying to read the number there off it. And I just can't get it. But anyway, this is a quarter inch body ratchet with a 3 8 drive end on it. They also make this in a non-flex version where it's just solid through here. Again, very fine ratcheting action on this. And these are real handy when you need it, when you need to be able to get a 3 8 socket into a tight area. Of course, you can't apply a ton of torque on something like this, but I believe most of the major tool companies make a similar ratchet. It may not be round head, but a lot of them do make a 3 8 drive square in a quarter inch body. So it just depends on what your favorite brand is. And last but not least is the Cornwell JR40. These are only available on a tool truck. I think Cornwell seems to be the last holdout where they do not sell direct from their website like most of the other tool truck companies do nowadays. Very nice chrome plating on this ratchet. It's 30 teeth. And I'd say this is probably the first one I grab out of the box nowadays. And again, I'll let you hear the action of it. Again, very low back drag on this model as well. The 
Again, these are made in uh, Mogador, Ohio. Now, Cornwell does make uh, 72 tooth versions of these ratchets or, as well, but the 72 tooth guts are made in Taiwan. Where the 30 tooth models, these are all U.S. made. So those are my 3H drive ratchets and my favorite brands. And I'm always curious to what other people are using, you know. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something really sweet that I don't know about. So if you have favorite 3 8 drive ratchet that I don't have here, you know, post up. Let me know some of your favorites. Alright, thanks for watching.